I'm on Amazon and I'm going to show what is a bit of a concern regarding corded electric mowers. Now this is a six and a half amp mower. They bought a 16.3, if you look down here at the bottom, a 16.3 100 foot cord. Now if you go to um, Black & Decker and you look at the manual, they have in the manual a little chart for cords. Now that was a six and a half amp, so it's in this range, 100 foot. They should have bought a 14 gauge. 16 is small. -ish. That's for 50 feet, not 100 feet. So even with that little mower, they bought the wrong size cord. They should have gone with a 14.3. Now look at each of these. I'm going to go through a bunch, but look at what people are buying. And this is what is wrong and why people are having issues with power consumption and poor cut quality. It's because they are not getting the full power because they have too small of a cord. Now this one is a I think this is a 12 this is the 12 amp mower. 12 amps frequently bought together. A 163 not even close. Look at this. 12 amps is 10 to 12. 12 is the top 100 foot top is 14 gauge. Me, I want all the power. If I'm out in thick grass, I'm getting a 12, not a 14. Even though a 14 is okay for 12 amps, it's at the top of the range. If you go 12 to 16, 12 is also in the range 12 to 16. And when, every time you start, you l use more amps just to start the motor. So, me, I would go one up. I would go to the 12 gauge for 100 feet on a 12 amp mower. So let's look at a few more. Here's another one. This one is, I believe only, that one is 9 amps. And what did they buy with it? A 16.3 cord. I'm not picking these out. This is Amazon. Everyone is buying too small of a cord. Do you think the people that are frequently bought together are buying this for another use? No, most likely they're buying it to use with the mower. And sure, maybe most of them will be okay. They got small yards they'll never notice. And they're not, um, you know, stressing the motor with th extra thick grass. But um, I have St. Augustine grass. It's thick. You need the power. Don't buy a 16.3 for anything. Use a 14.3 minimum, 12.3 if you're going 100 feet and you got heavier amps. Here's 8 amp. What did they buy together? 16.3. Everyone that I checked was buying a 16.3 cord. Look at this. This is insane. This is a 12 amp mower. They're buying a 16.3. Is it rated for it anywhere? Let's see. 16 gauge on 12 amps. Uh, yeah, maybe at 15, 50 feet. But they didn't buy a 50-foot cord. They bought a 100-foot cord. This one is 10 amps. And what did they buy? Let's see. They bought a 16-3 100-foot cord. Just because you're not using, say you only go 100 or 50 feet away, if you're using a 100-foot cord, it's a 100-foot cord. You could be mowing two feet away. It's still a 100-foot cord. Here's a 12-amp Remington. What did they buy? A 16-3 100-foot cord. If you're buying an electric mower, don't do it. Buy a 14-3 minimum. 12-3 if you're going to use it for anything else. I have a heavy-duty circular saw. It is, I think, 13 amps. I'm buying a 12 Three, not a not a fourteen three. I'm buying a twelve. With wire gauge, the bigger the number, the smaller the wire. A sixteen gauge is one sixteenth of an inch. Twelve gauge is one twelfth of an inch. Twelve is a bigger wire than a sixteen. I hope this helps you in your purchase, and uh, please pay attention to it. Thank you.